Hello everyone, welcome to AI Anytime channel. So in this video, we are going to have a look at a repository uh, from Hugging Face or a model that kind of helps you generate video from text. So you might have already seen a lot of generative AI models that kind, kind of generate images. So we have Mid Journey, we have Stable Diffusion, we have DALI and we have several other generative AI models that kind of text, text as an input and generate some kind of images, AI art. So we are going to see that how we can use a model that can help you generate videos from text. Okay. It, it is again based on the same you know, diffusion model. Okay. So if you are not familiar with diffusion models, so diffusion models are again the generative models. Okay. They generate data on the same data that they are trained on or similar data that they are trained on. So if they are trained on uh, text image data right we have text and then you have respective images then they will also generate you know the uh, images based on the text prompt so we are going to have a look at uh, something called uh, model scope uh, demo text to video synthesis okay so it is by demo uh, demo vi lab okay so if you actually see that it says the original repo is here okay so if you come back to this model scope now, if you're not familiar with model scope, so model scope is, uh, I think it was launched by Alibaba cloud. Okay. So it was their initiative, Alibaba cloud initiatives to, you know, create a platform like model scope where they can, you know, list open source model. You can find several models. You can see it's, it has, you know, I have just translated the page to English the actual page is in Chinese. So if you see, it has model library, it has data set, you know, you said create space. Now, Similarly, you also see this on hugging face, right? You can see that currently I'm on hugging face. Okay, so if you see this hugging face, it's at the AI community uh, building the future. Okay, so similarly, if you come on model scope, you'll also find a set of on a pattern that hugging face also follows. So you have model library. So in hugging face, you'll find models. You have, you know, on top you see model, data set, spaces. And similarly, you can see it model library, data set, and create space. So they provide similar. Uh, models and data sets where you can use it you know for your open source or research okay so this is what we are going to use also so they have uh, this uh, repository over here mod in model library section is a text generation video mock-up english general domain okay so text to video synthesis okay so basically it's it's again combines of three sub networks it has text feature extraction it has text feature uh, to video uh, latent space diffusion model and it also has video latent space uh, to video visual space okay so it, it is a combination of different networks sub networks and it's very powerful it it is you know, if you read it over here it says the overall model parameters are about 1.77 billion okay and it currently support english prompt okay and we're just going to uh, have a look at hugging face you can also have a look at this it's in uh, detail so hugging face you can find out uh, the data they are trained on so if you come down you'll see the training data so the training data includes imagenet uh, very famous uh, it was the computer vision moment years back when imagenet was you know made available and after that you would have seen a lot of you know computer vision based models that came in later on on top of imagenet and then we have wavewit and a lot of other public data sets so they have taken all these public data set and they have trained the model which is takes to uh, basically takes to video synthesis model okay what it does it takes a small text prompt okay there are limitations there are biases you know if you read the limitations over here uh, it has limitations it cannot give you the high quality videos at the moment and i think that's how we also saw in case of image generation so when you, you had earlier the stable diffusion coming in you know in beginning the quality were not that good and later on you saw a lot of development happen in the ecosystem and now we see mid journey you know version 5 and bing coming in bing image and then adobe firefly and there a lot of other you know uh, platform and services available which kind of generates high quality images and this is what it's going to uh, be the case with video generation as well and meta earlier had released a teaser of text to uh, video so similarly if you see they are not you know uh, uh, highly uh, high quality or they cannot you know achieve perfect film and the model can cannot generate clear text as well and you're generating uh, text in videos and it also cannot take a, a very long 
uh, text prompt again for you know large text dependencies or long text dependencies it takes smaller prompts so what you have to do you know you already see that you know i have already ran it because it requires high computational power it requires 16 gb of ram and 16 gb of you know uh, memory as well so i already have generated couple of videos so the, this is one of the video that i'm showing a panda you know eating grass okay so one of the video and i just generated this video if you see it says a robot is dancing on the street you know let's see what kind of uh, image that a video that we have got so it's very cool isn't it so a simple text prompt and you are getting a video okay now how do you run this in your machine or on cloud so you currently see i'm using google colab okay so first i have mounted it and i am looking at the available gpus so you need gpu for this it you can only make this or run this inference on gpu you cannot infer this on cpu machine at this moment then you need model scope and then you need something called open clip torch and pytorch lightning it helps you train faster like if you have seen pytorch lightning you know and if you come down then this is the thing okay you have to first get the uh, dependencies here first is the pipeline where you can use the pipeline to bring the model weights okay you can download the model weights and it takes ample amount of time because the model weights are huge if you are you know downloading this model space in your local machine you might use git lfs to uh, download this high uh, or, or large files okay of model weights so from the pipeline i am using text to video synthesis okay which is basically if you come over here okay, you can also find the inference code on hugging face so just go up you can see a lot of spaces are already using this uh, hugging face rep uh, repository on the model that they have listed it over here okay so you can find it out the code over here and that's a different code i'm not using this one uh, by the way i am just directly using the uh, uh, this model scope uh, code base so the first is text to video synthesis which is this repository name text to video synthesis and then through the pipeline we are getting this demo slash text to video synthesis and it will take little time and here is the test text so my text prompt is a robot is dancing on the street now if i just change it or dog is eating a slice of pizza now if this is my text and now what it does it kind of uses the weights the model weights and kind of generate you the video it takes a little time to generate the videos and then you have you also using this print output video pathway saved in your temporary folder and we are using this uh, collab utilities to download the files okay so let's run this and see if we are able to get it because i might have you know exceeded my ram limit but anyway we'll try So it takes around uh, uh, a minute, a minute uh, on the GPU machine uh, of this uh, Google Colab, which is I think Tesla K100, if I'm not wrong, the GPU that they provide. So, and you can also read this uh, about model scope here. Okay, and the repository is available here. I'll give the link in the description, and this is also available on Hugging Face. So you can use it uh, using two different medium. One is using hugging face and the other is using a model scope directly, okay, uh, which is uh, maintained by Alibaba Cloud. Okay. So I'll give the description. You can see a lot of spaces are already using this. So you can also take the inf you can also take the code base. You can make some changes and you can also deploy this uh, on hugging face space okay, if you have uh, account on hugging face space. So let's wait for it. And what I will do, I'll just run this. You can say output video path which has been saved here now it's downloading the video okay and it downloads the video in an mp4 format and the recommended media player is vlc media player but i am sure that it also works on windows media player and windows video it might work with other video player as well if you are getting any error or challenges in run, uh, while running the videos please use vlc media player so i'll use this and you can see a dog is eating a slice of pizza this is amazing but if you see it's what it what is what is it doing okay if you see here i think they have taken this stock images or stock videos you know from different uh, uh websites or the services or platforms like shutterstock or unsplash or pixabay or pixels there are several stock images and video providers and they have used those images 
of course they have listed it over on uh, their repositories as well that they have used publicly available data sets but i still feel that you know if you see this video it has a subtle stock uh, watermark and we are not able to uh, give any credit or cc attributes to this you know creator okay and i think that should be an option you know in our hand or even the while we are inferencing it when we are getting a video there should be the creator source that where that video we are getting it what video that they have been trained on okay so let's change the prompt once more and see if we are able to get so i can also search and astronaut is riding a horse you know on the moon so your text prompt should not be uh, you know long i have used you know multiple lines you know while testing it out and it it throws errors okay when you use long text so you should have uh, and it, it will not give you the right video if you use again the uh, long text so i'm just using a simple text prompt and astronaut is riding a horse on the moon but it's it's doing the job and it's i think it's a great start we also have a couple of other models available one of them one of uh, them i think hd video okay which is available on github uh, that also uh, gives you the same feature where you have a text prompt and you can generate a video out of it okay and these are all based they're all uh, backbone is diffusion models okay they have latent space diffusion models which are being the core of these models that we are using for text to video generation so you can use these videos uh, and you can combine this with you know deep fakes or you can use uh, some deep fake audios to combine with this video and you can make a powerful uh, you know video in end so this is the video that we have generated so if you run the video you see an astronaut is riding a, uh, a horse on the moon and i think it it generates two to five seconds length of video not more than that and you can see the quality is not that good but i think it's a great start so you know huge credit goes to uh, the creator okay uh, whoever created like you can see it over here we have demo vi lab okay and you can give you can cite them if that option is available you can also cite them if they have some research paper and i believe that they would have but you can also cite this you can also you know like it over here and you can see the downloads last month more than 10k downloads okay and inference api does not support does not yet support open clip models for this pipeline type you cannot inference this on hugging face uh, models with models here but you can definitely use it so what i will do i will give this uh, repository you know a, uh, in, on you can find it on my github repository uh, this collab notebook and also give you the uh, link in the description for this model scope and also this hugging face okay but how cool it is right to generate videos from text so earlier we had you know you can see mid journey okay, on mid journey you can see people are generating art okay for example see this art uh, or the image that they have generated and now we are also looking at videos we also already have audio generation you can clone your voice you know and you can generate an audio out of it so i think generative ai is going to be the future for at least next few years and this is just a start for video generation so this is what i have for today's videos guys you know i'm really loving this uh, text to video generation and the entire ecosystem of generative ai that is happening in the community so if you like the video please uh, hit the like icon and please hit the like button and if you haven't subscribed the channel yet please do subscribe and share the channel with your friends and peer thank you so much for watching this video guys see you in the next videos